Hello and welcome to the Watch Kaki channel where we bring you all the good and honest watch reviews. If this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button, hang around longer as we update you with the latest watch review videos. For today's video, we have another watch from a local brand, Vario, and this is the Empire model. Now the Empire is the second model to be launched from Vario. It comes in many different color combinations. But the one in review today is the automatic version and this is called the black tuxedo with loom hands. The Vario Empire has a case diameter of 38mm, it's quite a small watch. Its case thickness is about 11.5mm. It's got a 20mm lug width and along with the drill lugs, this makes it somewhat a strap monster. Now the lug to lug length is about 46mm. This watch has an all stainless steel construction. It has a flat sapphire crystal in front with anti-reflective coating. It's got a solid case back and powering the watch is the NH38A automatic movement which hex and hand winds. The Vario Empire has a retail price of US dollars 348 with international shipping. So I would say this is one of those more affordable type of dress watch. This watch is a loan set from Vario and they have very kindly sent over the entire package. The Vario Empire comes shipped in a black satinized box with the Vario logo embossed in front. It's got a flip open type of mechanism. And you can see the watch inside with the uh, black velvet interior. Here you get to see the paperwork. Now this watch also doubles up as a storage case if you're traveling. I think I can use this uh, whenever I'm traveling, if I want to bring along a spare watch, I just put it in. It's very small, very handy. All in all, quite a good watch box to have. Vario has marketed this watch as the Art Deco design inspired watch and it's very easy to see why because the very moment I laid my eyes on this watch, the numbers on the dial, the numbers 1 to 12, this type of font, this type of typeface really gets my attention. They're very unique. They give off this Art Deco uh, feel to it, along with the uh, small case of 38mm as well as the monochrome kind of uh, colour scheme. I would say all the design elements fit very well and is really in, in line with the Art Deco theme. The watch case has a very good combination of polished and brushed surfaces, the top of the lux, the top of the watch case along with the bezel, they are highly polished and the side of the case, it has got this vertical type of brushing to it. And this combination actually gives the watch case a very interesting look, right? Another design feature worth noting is that at the sides of the watch case, right, you can see from the nine o'clock side as well as from the crown side, they've got this kind of a step machining that probably gives a slightly more interesting look to the watch case. The star of the watch for me, uh, undoubtedly, the main draw of this watch is the dial. You know, this kind of art deco uh, numbers going on. And I've only seen this type of numbers once, I think on a more recent Panerai release. That's the uh, 1940 Radiomir art deco models. I think they had, they had two models released uh, in the recent years. And if you take a look at the uh, minute track, the minute markers track, you will see that there are, you know, these little small metallic dots. Uh, the hour markers have slightly bigger dots than the rest of the minute markers. Again, uh, very good effort from the designers. The numbers are actually printed on a silvery, circularly brushed surface. And right at the center of the watch, the tuxedo part, the black part is actually slightly shiny and it's got a textured surface. So. I really think uh, the designers of the watch has really taken the effort to really blend everything in very nicely on a very small dial. At the 3 o'clock position is a small onion crown that really matches the overall uh, look and design of the watch. But I must say this watch can be a little bit difficult to operate if you have short fingernails like me. Now I would need my thumb along with two fingers to get a good grip in order to uh, disengage the watch. All right, now the winding is still pretty uh, decent, it's pretty comfortable. Let's flip over the watch and take a look at the case back design. Obviously, the NH38A movement doesn't have much of a movement decoration to talk about. Hence, the designers have decided to go on with the uh, 
solid case back design here and we can see the graphic interpretation of the Empire State Building lasered engraved onto the case back. Now this is a very suitable uh, fitting design for the case back because the Empire State Building is an iconic building from the Art Deco era of the 20s and 30s so this is a great uh, uh, graphic to have. There's a slight problem here though I'm not too sure if this one here says design in Singapore and the very next minute they have the Empire State Building. I'm not too sure how these two are going to mix. Uh, not too sure about you, that's my own thinking. I would think that you shouldn't have a design in Singapore and the next moment you have the Empire State Building on your case back. The very Empire comes shipped with a black Italian leather strap. It's got contrast stitches and it is soft and I would say the quality is very good. It's got a 20 millimeter lug width and it tapers down all the way to 16 millimeters at the buckle thereby giving the watch a very classy and dressy look. The strap also has a very useful uh, quick release system whereby you just push this notch here and you get to do quick changing of straps. All in all very thoughtful of the watchmaker to include such a feature. Now it also has got drill lugs. Now if you've got a strap that doesn't have this quick release mechanism, the drill lugs will come in very very useful so uh, strap changing is really easy on this one. Let's do a size comparison between the Vario Empire and another watch that is about the same size. For today's comparison we have decided to use the Thin 556. Let's take a look at both watches uh, face on. Here you can see that the Zin looks a little bit bigger. I would suspect this is due to the uh, dial design. Uh, because when you got a dial that looks like a tuxedo kind of look, it actually makes the dial appear uh, smaller. While this one has a cleaner look, so it makes the watch feel a bit bigger. In terms of case size, however, I think they are both very similar. So 38.5, this is 38. Luck to luck length is very similar as well. They are both about 46 millimeters. And if we look at the case thickness, the Empire is a little bit thicker at 11.5 millimeters. Uh, the Zin 556 is uh, right on 11 millimeters. All right, so here are two very similar size watches for your reference. And here's a wrist shot of the watch on my 6.8 inch or 17 centimeters wrist. This watch here, I would say you can't go wrong with a case size of 38 millimeters. It fits almost everybody. The strap here is also of perfect length. The buckle is right in the center of my wrist. There's no lug gap to speak of. Looking very good. I would say this watch is sized perfectly. So I would say this is yet another good watch for the money that you're paying for. Plenty of interesting design features going on, the Art Deco theme, the you know unique numbers going on and that minute marker with that small metallic dots and this overall tuxedo kind of look. I also think that Vario deserves a special praise for using the NH38A movement in this watch. Unlike many other micro brand watches that use the uh, NH35 movement, this one here is not plagued with the uh, ghost state problem. So by pulling out one notch, I get to set the time of the watch because this is a time only movement. So I really feel that the brand is making the effort to make sure that the product is well thought out and well designed. Now also with the drill lug holes and the quick strap change mechanism, I'd say that the, you know, Vario is really listening to what the customers want. We want easy uh, access to strap changes. Although the Vario Empire has got very few negatives in its uh, design and execution, I still feel that a dome sapphire crystal will perhaps work better for the watch design as a whole. Uh, a dome sapphire crystal should give the watch a more vintage vibe to it, so I'm not too sure why uh, the maker wants to use a flat sapphire crystal here. And then there's a very slight complaint from me, just very slight. I do feel that the minute hand is a bit too slim, uh, especially when compared to the uh, hour hand. So I would think that uh, if both hands are of the same thickness, uh, I think that would improve uh, the legibility of the watch. So there you have it, the Vario Empire dress watch in black tuxedo. This automatic watch, not the cheapest priced 
micro brand watch out there it retails at $348 uh, some other micro brands these days are going way under US $300 but if buyers are willing to look beyond the price tag you will see that there are plenty of features uh, that the maker has gone through uh, put in the effort to make sure that you get a good watch first uh, you get a really good suitable movement without a ghost date you get really cool design features that fit the art deco theme uh, the fonts uh, the minute markers the tuxedo effect and of course there's this really nice uh, Italian leather strap soft good quality so uh, if if you look at all this uh, quality that the brand is giving uh, I think that 50 or 80 dollars more uh, is really well worth the money so if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and come back next week we've got more watch reviews rolled out just for you until then this is the watch kaki from singapore bye bye this watch has a all Ooh, ah. both very good looking and i've forgotten what to say this is the perfect watch to wear when you want to watch the movie the great gatsby hello what's your name